products. In an ideal world, if we could harvest all the electrical discharges from thunderstorms around the world, we could, as a species, have a nearly inexhaustible supply of energy. The pioneer Nikola Tesla was also fascinated with the idea of harvesting electricity from a sky. He was convinced that with ingenuity, we could tap into the natural electricity that surrounds the globe. Even today, Nikola Tesla commands an almost cult-like following. He was obsessed with the idea that electricity could be captured from the air and transmitted through it. He's most famous for developing the alternating current system, allowing electricity to be transmitted over great distances. When we think of naturally occurring electricity, we naturally think of thunderstorms and lightning, which is the most obvious example. But actually, there is a constant background system of electricity that runs around the entire planet. In 1901, Tesla started work on the Wardenclyffe Tower, a structure he believed could transmit messages across the world, harnessing the energy locked in the atmosphere. In fact, due to the effects of ionizing solar radiation, the Earth's atmosphere has a continuous circuit of electrical current running through it. The circuit is driven by the sun's high energy rays, which strip electrons from particles high up in the atmosphere. Negatively charged electrons from below are drawn up to replace them. The potential difference from the surface of the Earth to the top of the atmosphere is 400,000 volts a power source that could heat and light the whole planet, energize all of man's electronic devices. Global atmospheric electrical circuit is the presence of electricity everywhere from the sky to the ground. So we're constantly walking through it, basically. So even on a clear day, even if you can't see it, there is electricity effectively floating around in the atmosphere. Tesla's plan never saw fruition. Some say he was stopped in his tracks by powerful corporations who were scared he was going to share free atmospheric electrical energy with everyone on the planet. Now, 100 years later, companies in the U.S. are trying to pick up where Tesla left off. Today, the company Ion Power Group has actually patented a system to actually do that, take electricity from the atmosphere and harness it. And that graphene can actually pull ions out of the air into a battery where that energy is stored. Other countries are racing to beat the USA to be the first to master this huge resource of untapped energy. 